Fox 2 News. News that works for you. Starts now. A Vietnam veteran shot dead inside his own home. His family says the murder follows a string of attacks against the 84-year-old man. And now the search is on for his killer. Fox 2's Randy Wimbley with the latest on the investigation and a message from the victim's family. Just the fact of knowing that someone can be that cold-hearted mm -hmm. and shoot a person, regardless of their age. A stuffed dog sits outside the house where Lavelle Johnson was killed, gunned down inside his home on Detroit's east side. I know my dad was a giving, caring person. You can come to him and ask him for anything and he would give it to you. The 84-year-old Army veteran was a fixture on Woodlawn, having lived in this house for decades. I mean, I deserve that. Any guy you his last, for real. He was an amazing man. Those who knew him could not sing his praises enough. Lisa Jones told us about his generosity and what he did after winning a small lottery prize at a party store. And he was sitting in the, in the store and my cousin said, hey, chief, that's what we call him. And uh, he said, hey, how you doing? And he reached in his pocket and gave him some money. And my cousin said, what is this for? He said, because it's just because. He was one of the good guys. He was drafted into the army. He served our country and stuck with Detroit through thick and thin well into his golden years. That may have been his undoing. Mr. Johnson's house was broken into when he was sick in the hospital. His family urged him to move out of this neighborhood, but he refused. Thursday night, Mr. Johnson's body was found inside his bedroom. My husband and the young man down the street were the ones they found the body. Nina Green says she's lived across the street from Johnson for about 60 years. Now she's ready to do what he would not. If I can see my way out of here, I'm gone. I, I'm a nervous wreck because we don't know who did this or, or was it somebody in the neighborhood? Are they capable of coming back and we're senior citizens and I don't have nothing to protect myself and my husband either. Police say they need as many tips as possible so they can track down Johnson's killer. And I pray that the person that did it don't have any peace, that the Lord deal with their heart in a way that they can't sleep, they can't eat. If you have any information about what happened here, please call DPD or Crime Stoppers at 1-800-SPEAK-UP. On Detroit's east side, Randy Wembley, Fox 2 News.